I wanted to give a little bonus technical section here. Uh, this code is triggering a engine temperature sensor code. And so I'm going to scan it real quick and show you. <coughs> PO118 engine coolant temp sensor G62, signal too high. And these things fail all the time. I'd be totally okay with just shotgunning the uh, part in there. Um, hoping for the best. It's a cheap part. It's easy to install. You don't even have to remove bolts. You just pull a clip out. You lose some antifreeze. Have to refill it though. A little bit of information here on uh, getting a solid diagnosis is to scan for the measuring blocks here. And you can see the coolant temperature sensor right there showing about 50 degrees Celsius, which here, but that's probably about normal. And then if you go to the instrument cluster and scan it. Check fault codes in the instrument cluster. You see there's a coolant temperature sensor trouble code there also. Uh, this key one you can ignore. And if we go to measuring blocks in the uh, instrument cluster, we can see the temperature there also. It says 64 degrees. Now that is slightly different from what the engine says, but you, what you have to understand is both these signals are coming from the same sensor. There's two sensors integrated into one. There's four wires, two wires for each sensor, and two of those wires go to the instrument cluster, and two of the wires go to the engine computer. And through the data bus network, they, uh, the computer makes a comparison of the two, and if there's any discrepancy, then it will trigger these trouble codes. So what usually happens is one of these signals drops out as you're driving down the road. It'll work fine most of the time, but one of the signals will drop out as you're driving down the road. The trouble code triggers. It's kind of hard to diagnose because of the, the way it usually does that. You can graph it and drive down the road and see what the signal drop out, uh, but you'd have to graph the engine computer hoping that it's the engine computer and then graph the uh, instrument cluster and hoping that you see it there. And if you don't see it, maybe it won't happen. Maybe the code won't reoccur. This code does reoccur, but it takes a couple test drives to get it to do it. And uh, my point is that we're just going to shotgun a sensor in there. Here on the back of the head is the temperature sensor. And it's right below the vacuum pump, which is here. Right here is the temperature sensor. Not very easy to see there, but changing it's super easy. You pull this clip out. And then pull the sensor out. Make sure the O-ring comes out with it. If these Volkswagen connectors are difficult to unplug, you can hook them down here and unplug eat much easier usually. I want to show the sensor. The black sensor is an early model sensor that's been upgraded. To a green sensor. I'm not saying if you have a green sensor it's never going to fail because they do fail. But if you got a black one, no diagnosis necessary. Just toss it and put a green one in there. Of course use a new o-ring. 